excuse me guys one thing really making so many rounds all over social media right now happens to be what just happened to this uh, gorgeous pretty nollywood actress rachel oniga well she passed on just of recent just a couple of days ago i think that was uh, on friday at exactly 10 p.m so she passed on on friday 10 p.m and ever since that particular time the whole of social media i mean talking about instagram to be precise has been flooded with this particular lady's pictures and i feel like it's very much understandable she was a very great person a very good person to work with and a great colleague loved by all well in this particular video we're going to be talking about the fact that her body remains just came home like just returns to her hometown for it to be sent down six feet believe me uh this is something that just took us by surprise it's not as if any person out there really knew something like this was going to happen it just happened in a very short period of time so guys i don't know what you guys have to say but do you feel like there's anything fishy going on here do you feel like there's something we don't know because people were saying that okay she passed on because of covid and something like that but uh a little uh caption a little post popped up on her instagram page and information confirms the fact that it was actually her sister that uploaded that particular information and according to this information it's more like they were debunking the fact that uh she didn't pass on because of covid like we weren't actually too sure that it was covid by the way but her sister debunked it and said no she didn't pass on because of covid so guys that is what is making so many rounds online right now and just now that her body remains have returned home, I'm sure burial rights are going to be uh, proceeded, like it's going to take place anytime soon. So I want you guys to please show your support. If you actually loved this lady in any way, if you actually have been following her movies, then for sure you should understand that it's actually a very difficult moment for her family, her children as well, because it's not easy to lose a mom. I mean, it's never easy. So talking about this lady just a little bit, she happens to uh, have hailed from Delta State. And of course, she was born on May 23rd, 1957 in Ebute Meta, that is in Lagos State. So she actually became a household name after starring in the Yoruba classic family drama, Owo Blue. So the veteran actress featured in some of the best English and Yoruba movies until her departure. So guys, uh, Rachel Oniga began her acting career shortly after her divorce. She was a full-time housewife, but before that particular marriage of hers, she was a computer programmer. After the separation, she went into business trading, traveling and buying things. So she worked briefly at Ascoli Nigeria Limited, which happens to be a Dutch consultant company, before she made her acting debut a nollywood classic so that was actually 1993 that she started or she stayed in this particular movie called a war blow so believe me over the years this award-winning actress also featured in notable nigerian films including sango uh, wale adenuga's te television series super story uh, dr bello out of bound 30 days in atlanta the royal hibiscus hotel the wedding party and most recently my village people so this happened to be movies that this lady was featured in or that she featured in and i want you guys to please check it out and there happened to be this tv series going on on showcase i think it's still going on and it happens to be called passion so if at all you've been following up that particular uh, series then of course you should know that this lady called rachel Oniga was in that movie believe me this is something so touching and i know how it feels so uh, i'm just sending my love my condolences which is out there to her family her loved ones her children that may they stay strong and of course god is going to see them through so guys take down to the comment section to leave your condolence wishes as well to rachel Oniga because believe me it's not actually easy to lose a mom not at, at a very tender age like we are getting so please leave your condolence wishes right down for rachel Oniga. We love you so much, Rachel, and we're very much sure that you're resting in a very much better place. Go well.